Hello everyone, this is Minerality Master, and welcome to Five Nights at Freddy's 3. I am going to be doing Nights 1 through 3 in this episode, since Night 1 is shorter than the others, and yeah. I'm going to be doing Nights 1, 2, and 3 in this episode, Nights 4 and 5 in the next, I'll be doing Nights X in the third, I'll be doing the, uh, the good ending guide in episode 4, and I'll be doing aggressive nightmare mode in episode 5. Let's do this. Coming soon, Fazbear's Fright, the horror attraction. Local amusement park is getting ready to scare your socks off with a new attraction based on the unsolved mysteries of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, featuring actual rugs with a decade old piece of real. This new attract this new attraction is guaranteed to bring back your childhood in the worst way possible. Okay, good. Here we go, night one. Okay, if I remember correctly, the snoot boop is right here. Yep, there's the snoot boop. Hey hey, glad you came back for another night. I promise it'll be a lot more interesting this time. Found some, some great new relics over the weekend, and we're out tracking down a new lead right yeah, now. Excuse me, so, uh, allergies let me again. You real quick, then you can get to work. Like the attraction opens in like a week, so we have to make sure everything works and nothing catches on fire. Uh, when the place opens, people will come in at the opposite end of the building and work their way toward you, and past you, and out the exit. Uh, yeah, you've officially become part of the attraction. Uh, you'll be starring as the security guard. So not only will you be monitoring the people on the camera as they pass through, you know, to make sure no one steals anything or makes out in the corner, but you'll also be a part of the show. It'll make it feel really authentic, I think. Uh, now let me tell you about what's new. We found another set of drawings, always nice, and a foxy head, which we think could be authentic, then again, it might just be another crappy cosplay. And we found a desk fan, very old school, metal though. So watch the fingers. Uh, <laughs> uh, right now the place is basically just, you know, flashing lights and spooky props. But I honestly thought we'd have more by now. Uh, if we don't have something really cool by next week, then we may have to suit you up in a furry suit and make you walk around saying, boo. <laughs> uh, but you know, like I said, we're trying to track down a good lead right now. Uh, some guy who helped design one of the buildings says it was like an extra room that got boarded up, or something like that. So, we're gonna take a peek and see what we can find. Uh, mm. For now, just get comfortable ah, with the okay. new setup. Um, you can check the security cameras over to your right with the click of that blue button. Uh, you can toggle between the hall cams and the vent cams. Uh, then over to your far left, uh, you can flip up your maintenance panel. You know, use this to reboot any systems that may go offline. <laughs> so in trying to make the place feel vintage, we may have overdone it a bit. <laughs> Some of this equipment is barely functional. Yeah, I wasn't joking about the fire. That, that, that's a real risk. Uh, the most important thing you want to watch for is the ventilation. Look, this place will give you the spooks, man. And if you let that ventilation go offline, then you'll start seeing some crazy stuff, man. Keep that air flowing. Okay, keep an eye on things, and we'll try to have something new for you tomorrow night. Alright, thanks, phone dude. I also just noticed that there is a reflection of this paper cup right here in the window. I have never noticed that being there before. So, yep, Five Nights at Freddy's 3. Five Nights at Freddy's 3 is pretty interesting to me, atmosphere-wise, and Springtrap himself is a cool character, even though he's not in the building right now, and it's 4 a.m. after all that. I'm, I'm pretty sure Night 1's length is shorter than the other nights. I'm pretty sure Night 1's the only night that's shorter than the others. So yeah. When I compare FNAF 1, FNAF 3 to the first two games, in list of what I like, in the list of favorites, FNAF 3 would be the least, FNAF 1 would be middle, and FNAF 2 would be my favorite. The reason why FNAF 3 is because, uh... I guess it's just more... What's the word? Relaxed, I guess? I, 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 I guess it wouldn't really... I guess it wouldn't really be relaxed, just... There's less stuff to do, spring traps, jump scares himself, spring traps, jump scares aren't the best. The Phantom's gonna be easily avoided if you know what to do, it's, um... And it can be pretty slow at times. Well, on the upside, this is the first game where each minute, where each hour at lasts for a minute. Speaking of hours, there we go. Each hour lasts for a minute to it, on night two onward. Except for night one. Alright, let's do this. 
It's me, Freddy Fazbear. Well, hey, Shadow Freddy. Yeah. Just so you know, I will not be going for the good ending this time around. I'll be making that its own separate video. So people won't have to look over multiple videos to see the entire thing. Okay, here we go. Alright, I'll follow you. Error, 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 error. Let me get in! Oh no, here he comes. Here he comes! Yep, there's purple guy, and I'm dead. Yep, now for night two. That's when Springtrap shows up. Hey man, okay, I have some awesome news for you. First of oh, all, I see you. I see his arm. Dude, these are like prehistoric. I think they were like training tapes. Hi, like I see you. Employees. You see that? Like Top that. left corner. So, hey, Springtrap. Like, have them playing, like, and be really careful for the phantoms. The attraction. Dude, that makes it feel legit, man. But I have an even better surprise for you. And you're not gonna believe this. Yeah, I see we him. found one. A real one. Yeah, I know. Uh, uh, uh gotta go, man. Uh... Well, well, look, it, it's in there somewhere. I'm, I'm sure you'll see it. Okay, I'll leave you with some of this great audio that I found. Talk to you later, man. All right, see ya, phone dude. And he was never uh, seen hello. again. Hello, hello. Let's right, bring Trap, get back. Now, welcome to your new career as a performer slash entertainer hmm. for Freddy Fazbear. I'm pretty sure Fant Phantom uh, BB only shows up in a few camps. Much needed information on how to handle slash oh, climb into slash climb out of mascot oh, complex. Right now, we have two specially no, designed no, no. suits. Reload audio. Get back there. Please pay close attention while we have to operate these suits as accidents, slash injury, slash death, slash irreparable and grotesque maiming can occur. First, we will discuss how to operate the mascot when they are in animatronic form. For ease of operation, the animatronics are set to turn and walk towards sound sheets. This is an easy and hands-free approach. Making sure the animatronics stay where the children are well, for maximum entertainment slash crowd pleasing value. To change the animatronics to suit mode, insert and turn firmly the hand crank provided by the manufacturer. Turning the crank will recoil and compress the animatronic part around the sides of the suit, providing room to Hi. climb inside. Please make sure that spring locks are fast and tight. Hi, I see you in the I see you in the middle of the hall there. We will cover oh, no. this in more detail in tomorrow's <laughs> session. Remember to smile. Uh, the face of Brady Fazbear's pizza. Alright. Thanks, phone guy. Or past phone guy, I guess. Okay, just rebooted the ventilation. Stop playing that audio. Hello. Stop beeping alarms. Spring trap. Hi, I see you on the right there, being so sneaky. What are you doing? Hi. Get back in this hall. Thank you, buddy. That's right, I see you. I'm gonna try and keep them in this hallway here, camera 7 and 6. <laughs> there we go, there he is, he's over there now. I've also gotta be really wary of Phantom BB, since I know he shows up on a few cameras. I believe it's cams 1, 5, 9, and 10? I know one, I know one, I know he shows up on camera 1 and 10 for a fact. I just don't know about the other two. Oh hi, I see your hand. And his foot. That's it, reboot. I like rebooting my cameras. Oh, So one, seven, nine, and ten, I was right, he did show up. Hi. Now it's gonna be really wary for when Phantom Chica starts appearing. I'm gonna reboot my ventilation just in case. Oh, I hear that. I hear you walking around there, Buckaroo. Where are you? Oh, I see him. I see him right there. I'm gonna turn up my volume so I can properly hear. Hey, Springtrap, I see you there. Hi. You get back over here, mister. Thank you. I see you at the bottom right hallway over there. Let's reboot the audio because I feel like it's about to break. Oh, there's moving. Another one cam eight or six since the warning ambience didn't show up. Camp 6. Yep, there he is. Get back to Camp 7. Yes, follow the BB voice box. 4 a.m. I, I think I have about a minute and 20 seconds left. Then 
Cam 6. No, it's Cam 8. Hello? Get back. That's it. You stay there, buddy. Oh, there he goes again. Is that six? Uh, nope, that is eight. Hey, buddy. But I'm gonna let you wander for a bit and see what you get up to. Cam nine. Oh, no. Hi. Back here. I really gotta hope he doesn't crawl on a vent. He went in a vent! Come on, reboot. Finish, 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 finish. Where, where, where is he? 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 Get sealed! Oh, that was close. And now Hi. you get back to Cam 8. Now you stay there. I'm keeping my eye on you. Yep, he went here. Seal this vent before ventilation. There we go. Ventilation! Also, I'm pretty sure the ventilation spawn, if your ventilation starts going off like this, you start seeing multiple spring traps on, uh, later nights. I don't know how accurate that fact is, though. Hi. Get back. That's it, buddy. S stay in Cam 7. Not gonna be the most optimal strategy for later, since that's when Phantom Chica shows up. There he goes again. Alright, Buck. Oh. I guess I don't need to worry, that's night 2 done. Right after this, I'll do night three, and then I'll end the uh, and then I'll end the video there. I'm Bonnie the Bunny. Yep. Hey, Shadow Freddy. Again. I tried looking for you in FNAF too, but apparently I didn't find you. I see that I see that's rain coming in through the ceiling. Wait a minute. Oh, it's the same shade as Bonnie's head. Oh. Hey, Freddy. <laughs> error, error, error. Oh, no. No, 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 no! Hi, Mr. Aubergine Man. Alright, here we go, night three. After this, I'll end the video. Just gotta go for another six minutes or so. Uh, hello, hello. Hey, buddy. Uh, for today's lesson, we will be continuing our training on proper scene handling techniques. When using an animatronic as a suit, we will make sure that the animatronic parts are tightly compressed and fastened by the spring lock located around the inside of the suit. It may take a few moments to position your head and torso between these parts in a manner where you can move and speak. Try not to nudge or press against any of the spring locks inside the suit. Do not touch the spring locks at any time. Not breathe yeah. on the spring lock, as moisture may loosen them and cause them to break loose. In the case that the spring lock come loose while you are wearing a suit, please try to maneuver away from populated areas before bleeding out, as to not ruin the customer experience. As always, if there is ever an I see you. please go to the designated safe room. Every location is built with one extra room. Oh, that is I Phantom Cupcake. You know how to the program, animatronic or security. Oh no. This room oh no. He's in cam 5. Please don't move. Go here. Always, smile, go, go. Hey, Phantom Freddy! I see you sauntering down the hallway, Phantom Freddy. I am not looking at you. I gotta keep my eye on Spring Boy. Where is he? Spring Trap? Where is he? Okay, good. He's back somewhere. Cam 7? Yep, there he is. Hey, Spring Trap, how's it going? I beat you on night two, now I'm gonna beat you on night three. You're going to camp six? Yes, yes it is. I appreciate that, Buckaroo. Oh no. Ventilation error. Hi. Okay, you go here. Great, now both of you. Okay, if I remember correctly, it's audio devices, then ventilation. Since I know rebooting all would take a lot longer than this. I hear him. Oh, he must be in camp five. That him? Oh, no, it's Phantom Freddy. Hey, spring trap? Oh, there you Hi. are. You get back here. Good, I appreciate that. Hey, Phantom Freddy, I see you walking down through the window. Okay, okay bye. <laughs> spring 
that trap, get back there. Great video error. I'm glad I don't have to worry about Phantom Foxy for right now. Since him showing up would be bad. Very bad. <laughs> there we go. Let's see. Hey, buddy. Just keep staying there, and we'll have a good night, okay? Don't get too close. I don't want to have a conversation to you face to face, you know. I don't even know why I'm talking to him. I guess the easiest Hello? parts to him. That, I guess the easiest parts of him to see are his glowing eyeballs. I know you. I know you like to be sneaky, Mr. Spring Boy. Yep. Nope. No, Phantom BB. You are not jump scaring me. I would like to go through these first five nights without being jump scared by a phantom. Thank you very much. Although, considering that I'm constantly on camera seven, I'm bound to get jump scared by Phantom Chica. Like, it's gonna be coming any minute. Like, as soon as Springtrap leaves... Like, when Springtrap is gone, and I keep looking at camera seven, she's gonna show up. Get back. That's it, Springtrap. Stay there. No Phantom Foxy. Good. Oh. Okay. Ventilation second, then camera system. Oh no, he wouldn't have vent. Please let that be seven vent. Please let that be ten, zef, seven vent. Good, he went to the sealed vent. I know that's Phantom Freddy coming across the hallway, because I see Springtrap right here. Yep, there he is. I got real lucky with Springtrap. <laughs> Hey, Springtrap, stay there, please. Hi. I said get back. Springtrap. He's in camp six. Where, 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 where is he? Uh, Springtrap? What, what vent did he go in? Uh, he's not in a vent. Oh, there he is. I thought he went to a vent. Oh, he keeps going into the sealed vent. Good. Keep going in that sealed vent. Okay, I don't hear him moving. Where is he? Okay, good, he didn't move an inch while I was rebooting the video. Good. Good, 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 good. Okay, now you move. Hello? Get back there, Rockaroo. I can't have you moving too much. Phantom Foxy? Oh, no Phantom Foxy. Okay, good. You know what? I'm gonna reboot my audio, because I feel like that's about to go out. Oh, there it goes. Please let that be Cam 6. Ah, uh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, he's back in Camp 7, good. Hey, why do you want to get to me? What's your end goal, besides immortality? Since you're technically already that. What are you doing? Why are you st- oh. Okay. That's night three. All right, I'm gonna play through the Chica minigame and then I'll stop it. Yep, I'm Chica now. Here we go. Following Shadow Freddy to my demise again. Let's do this. Time to get killed by Purple Guy again. Freddy! Bonnie! What happened? Don't worry, I'll get help by following this mysterious figure into a back room. Oh no, I'm gonna die, I guess. Alright, those were Nights 1, 2, and 3 of Five Nights at Freddy's 3. I'll be doing Nights 4 and 5 in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to ring the bell to stay up to date for all of my content. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.